Next thing on our agenda is 227 Hanover Street, Hot Tomatoes, which formerly the site of Lulu's Bakery, as you may recall, and then Lindell's Bakery. They filed with the City of Boston Zoning Board of Appeals seeking zoning relief to change the use of the premises from a bakery to a small takeout restaurant. It's applied to the license boards in the City of Boston for a seven day CV license. Thank you, Madam President. For the record, my name is Daniel Toscano, the attorney of law, office located at 62B Commercial Walk Beach, Boston, Mass, 02110. My telephone number is 617-646-4428. To my right is Philip Consolo, who's the owner and operator of uh, Hot Tomatoes. Um, what, we, what we're doing is standing here asking for your support. We're respectfully requesting your support. There's really two issues. One is a change of occupancy. Currently at that location, if people are familiar with it, there's Tresca's restaurant, there's office space, there's six apartments, and a bakery. Bakery is what the president has just uh, mentioned, which was Lulu's Bakery at one point. Uh, and what we want to do is change their use. Um, a restaurant, office space, six apartments, and a small takeout restaurant. The second request is for support for a common vicular license to be operated on the premises seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. For those people that don't know what that is, would you tell them about that? Our license? victory license allows us to sell our, our products, whether it's soda, whether it's potato chips, our sandwiches, um, anything you come into the store to, to purchase. It allows us our, our common victory license, which is given to us by the City of Boston Licensing Board. Our hearing date on that CB license is October the 19th um, at 10 a.m. In regards to the proposal, a uh, public notice meeting notice was uh, flyed in the area of the boundary of that uh, flyer went out from Richmond Street and Palmetto Street, um, both sides of Hanover Street to Cross Street, and also inside the uh, where Ida's uh, restaurant is and the, the little side alleyways that are in there. So everybody was properly notified of what in regards to this particular meeting and the upcoming neighborhood council meetings. Uh, the resident association meetings uh, last Tuesday, which was the, uh, September the 6th. In regards to the establishment, I did uh, put on the table four copies of the floor plan. The big, if you're familiar with it, it's a very small establishment. It's 975 square feet, roughly. Um, the upstairs, not, there's no work that needs to be done in this particular location. The upstairs is a countertop, service countertop. We go in, make your order. The entire kitchen is downstairs, which is 500, and roughly 7,500 square feet, which is an existing kitchen. Nothing needs to be changed. Downstairs, you have your pizza ovens, your stove, refrigeration, everything that's all the prep work is down there. So upstairs, there's only counter service. Um, service. There's no seating in the establishment. There's no countertops in the establishment. It's just takeout only and, and delivery. It's the same establishment that. Mr. Console operated on Nord Street with hot tomatoes on Nord Street. In regards to Phil personally, Phil has been in the restaurant business for a number of years. He owns and operates a hot tomatoes down on Brent, Bedford Street in Boston. He's had uh, numerous other jobs working in the food industry business, working in Levicello's restaurant, Ricardo's restaurant, hot tomatoes on Nord Street, uh, Common's. Uh, restaurant, the number of other restaurants that we can go on and talk about his experience in the, in the restaurant business. So he's, he's experienced, he's uh, safe serve certified um, to handle all food prep. Uh, the other issues that the neighborhood would be concerned with is we have in our hand we have Cleanway, um, contract with Cleanway, which is a seven day a week trash pickup. Uh, Mr. Console plans on putting two barrels out there per night. Uh, for his daily trash pickup, at, in the, after it's picked up in the daytime, those trash bags will be moved inside. They won't be left outside on the uh, on the street. In, re in regards to the menu, I believe, Madam President, you have a copy of the menu. Part of what we're going to have is uh, the exact same menu that was on North Street. If you're familiar with the North Street restaurant, there's specialty pizzas, there's some pastas, there's sandwiches, hot and cold, and calzones. So that's going to be the menu. It's going to be delivery also. The only thing that's changing on this menu is some of the pasta dishes will be taken out. It's going to be very limited pasta dishes. And the front of the menu in terms of the addresses and some of the phone numbers will be changed. With that said, I'm more than happy to 
answer any questions that the board may have. Thank you. What's your signage The signage is not going to change from what the existing awning is. All we're doing is changing the sign as to what the old hot tomatoes sign look like. It's going to be black with silver writing, just saying hot tomatoes. Okay. No neon. No, no, no neon. No. Just um, umbrella wrap. An umbrella like wrap, exactly. Umbrella. What was up there? So the sign would just be black uh, wrap awning. That's uh, similar to what's there now. So the not vendors on the Correct. It's back. And your hours of operation is about 11 to 11. This is going to be strictly taken. Strictly taken. There's no seating. Uh, we applied with. Uh, and we have applied with ISD. We have not received our denial letter. And the reason why I stand before you today asking um, for some, uh, this support because the place needs no work. He's ready to open up, uh, ready to do business. We are going to be seeking a temporary occupancy license, or a temporary certificate of occupancy. So when I want to be able to get to the board first and get the support so I can go forward and seek a temporary so we can open up prior to our uh, board of appeals here, which we know, which is a lengthy uh, experience. Are you going to be coming for the other Yeah, can you talk about probably not. There's not enough seating in there for one. Maybe in the future, a bit of place, <coughs> not that location. We have no seating, so. Any other council members have any questions? I just have a question about just you previously had another location, you're just moving because of uh, why, I guess. We're from the North Street. Yeah. And they closed for about a year. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, they, they sold the building, yeah. and the landlord couldn't come up with an agreement. He doubled the rent. Okay. I was offered to pay him 24, I was paying 2,000. He wanted 38. Then they were going to try to restructure the restaurant to give me more seating. I didn't want it. I just wanted to stay in it. Unfortunately, I would love to go back there, but it just didn't work out. So I'm paying the same amount of rent on you know, the street. It was, you know, kind of a little brand. Just, that's all. Any other council members have any questions? Okay. Anybody in the yeah. Yeah. Yep. Story on Las Angeles Street. Um, previously, you were in Watt Street, you had a large um, sign that there would be a park in Watt Square. Do you have plans on putting uh, that back? That was, that was the previous owner to you. Yeah. Jeff had a big sign here yeah. in the park. Oh, that was Jeff. Yeah, it was a different owner. Oh, because it said Watt Street. It was okay. Did you like so, to put it back? No, oh, really? no. <laughs> <laughs> no. The only sign you have in the neighborhood is the one that will be in front of your school. That's correct. So, and you can't even put those billboards up anymore, just so you know. So he, he kind of was like the last guy that got away with putting up something along the side of it, but you can't do that anymore, okay. just so you know. Thank you. Phil? You said your hours were 11 to 11? 11 to 11. Seven days a week? Seven days a week. You're not going to 12 o'clock in the week? No, no. Yeah, our application at uh, the common particular is 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Go ahead. How are you going to do your deliveries? Are you going to have like a little bike? A bike, not yeah. walking. Mini cars that Nick Verano has for the desk. Um, <laughs> no, bike. The tricycles are those. The yeah, people, no. the pedicabs. Yeah, pedicabs. The walking. Anything else? Anybody want to make a motion? Go ahead, Andrew. I'll make a motion. Well, we have two things. Uh, we have two things now that we have to uh, vote on. One is the change of use and the CD license. Can I go? Yes. Yes. Yeah. On both of them, or do I have to do one and two? Okay. I make a motion for the CD license. I second. I make a motion. Let's do one at a time. Yeah, so we do it. We're vote on the CD license. We have a motion to. Um, Support the application for a CV license for hot tomatoes at 227 Hanover Street, and we have a second. All in favor? Okay. I have to ask any calls because that's the name of it. And I make a motion to support the change of use. A second, what's
which is what I'm receiving. Okay. Is everybody clear? We just voted on the CV license, and everybody okay with their votes on that? All right. Now we're going to vote. And Anne's making a motion. Go ahead. Change of occupancy. Bakery to check out. Change of use. Okay. So we have a motion on the floor to have a change of use at 227 Hanover Street, Hot Tomatoes, formerly Lulu's and Lindell's Bakery, to change the use of the premises from a bakery to a small takeout restaurant. All in favor? Okay. Madam President, members of the board, thank you for your time. Welcome, good Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much.